Roughly Just, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you an update on the companies I'm building, specifically the construction company that is the company that's building these eco smart homes. Right? I'm building a um, housing development complex on the east coast of Demerara, and when we're now at the stage where we are pricing the materials to start construction and this allows me to address some of the issues in Guyana with housing and I want to raise two issues that have come up in recent times one is the meaning of subsidized housing or low income housing recently on social media there have been <laughs> pictures of um, new construction in Guyana that is meant to be sold to low income or working class um, people. Usually um, people who are now starting out in their working life. And when you look at these houses, there's nothing short of ridiculously um, poor quality and laughable in the design and the construction. But there are people who should know better. These are well-known businessmen in Guyana who are um, promoting this low standard and mediocrity in our housing sector. And so what I want to do is address the issue of low income housing. The first thing is that low income housing does not mean low quality housing. And so there's a lot of um, housing developers in Guyana who interpret low income to mean low quality. Low income housing does not mean low quality housing. I've lived in, in some um, pretty decent houses in New York City during my time there. I remember living at a place called the Sand Castle in Far Rockaway. It was a, a housing um, complex that was meant for people on Section 8 and so a lot of my neighbors had subsidized um, rent. I didn't have subsidized rent, I paid the full rent. But what was um, interesting is that the quality of the house, a housing, was not compromised. Later on they started, um, the, the complex was acquired and the new owners started uh, renovating and charging more for the apartments. But um, the, the point is that this was not low quality housing. It was high quality housing. They had in fact um, a number of amenities and facilities within the house, within the complex. It was, uh, I don't know, 11. I was on the 10th floor, so it, it was about I don't know, 20 stories, right? There were three buildings together, 20 stories, and lots of the residents were um, seniors who had um, retired from their jobs and were living in a, sort of a senior housing complex. They had their own um, recreational facilities, they had a gym, they had, um, you know, a supermarket within the building and common areas, laundromat and so on. So low income housing does not mean low quality housing. So what I'm building on the East Coast is in fact high quality housing. I'm now pricing the materials, the um, bathroom fittings, for example, the ceramic tubs, the tiles, the, um, the sinks and the faucets and so on. So the point I'm making here is that we need to stop um, from promoting the idea that low income housing is low quality housing in Guyana. So that's point number one, right? Point number one is low income housing does not mean low quality housing. Point number two is low income housing does not mean tiny housing. It does not mean these tiny homes that are building, right, on these tiny lots. So they're building a house on perhaps an eighth of an acre of land and putting this is look this, this something that looks like a mm, a dog kennel. Some people describe it as a chicken coop, right? It does not mean low income housing does not mean tiny homes. Now I understand there's a whole new tiny home movement, but they're charging like five million dollars for a house that is about two bedrooms on about 150 square feet of space. It's ridiculous, okay? I think that you can build decent size housing 
quality housing if you put a number of units in the same building. So what I'm building is a 10 story, um, 10 story building with 20 units of housing in the building. So these houses, these, these units or condominiums will be regularly sized about a thousand square feet each with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, living room, kitchen, dining room, and all the amenities that go that can be fitted into a uh, multi-story uh, condominium complex that which means central air conditioning so you can monitor the quality of the air and you can regulate the temperature and um, you know the pollutants you can filter the air before it gets into each room you can so in, in my interpretation of, of high quality housing for a reasonable price, it does not mean that you have to compromise on space, right? You can have all the facilities that come with a condominium complex, which means you get a gym, you know, uh, recreational facilities, you get uh, exercise facilities, you get a dining room, you get a supermarket in the building, you get parking underneath the building, you get a swimming pool on the roof of the building, and you get um, barbecue areas, recreational outdoor spaces on the roof. So all of this in a multi-story uh, condominium going, uh, being built here in Georgetown, here in, in Guyana, right? And so I, I dispute the two premises that that Guyanese um, builders are using or applying to housing in Guyana. And number one is that low income housing does not mean low quality housing. Low income housing does not mean tiny housing. Now what do you do to save money in building um, houses for a reasonable price? And the first thing you do is you standardize all of the measurements. All of the windows are going to be the same size and that's what what is great about building it in the same um, building building all the units in the same building one you save space you save land space two you can build all the units identically so that when you source the materials you can simply use the same um, source of materials over and over again in each unit the, the tiles are going to be the same sizes the designs are going to be the same the same ceramic tubs in each bath bathroom unit the same sinks and faucets the same kitchen appliances and so on so the way you save money in building um housing for a reasonable price is that you make it modular so that you can repeat right you can repeat all of the um facilities in each unit so that's how we're building um, houses i'm building uh houses in guyana for my company uh Lisa Echo Smart Homes. I'll leave the link in the description below. You can find that website. Go examine it. People have actually asked me about um, investing or buying um, units in these, this building. If you're interested in that, let me know. Contact me via the website or um, via the comment section in this channel via email and I'll get back to you. One last, thing, one last update for the channel. We're now going to open... Um, membership to people who want to join um, this channel as a member and contribute at various levels. I am now um, working with YouTube to establish uh, four levels of membership and you can now also purchase merchandise from this channel from Spreadshirt. So Spreadshirt.com is going to, be, going to be the official um, merchandiser. You can still also go to my website which I'm going to sort of leave linked to, uh, in the description below my website rnbrand.gbtu.online and also I'm going to set up that site for my UK um, visitors and followers and subscribers so you can purchase from the UK site as well and those in America and Canada can purchase from the RN brand site. I'm going to set those sites up so that you can purchase directly from my website or you can purchase from Spreadshirt but these are the developments of the channel. You can now um, become a member supporting supporting the channel at various levels and you can purchase merchandise from the official um, 
store, merchandise store, spreadshirt.com. If you want to see more content like this, click like and subscribe in the comments below. <laughs> Leave me your um, suggestions for what you think are ways to make um, high quality affordable housing in Guyana and what do you think of the new um, housing developments in Guyana where they're building these what appear to be dog kennels or chicken coops for five million dollars. I think it's ridiculous but what do you think? Leave your comments below and let everybody know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later!